सो हे गाइज दिस इज दिपेश एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ए न्यू मेथड और न्यू टेक्निक टू मेक मशीन लर्निंग प्रडिक्शन सो वॉट वी वी आर टॉकिंग टूडे इज कॉल्ड एज एनसेम्बल मेथड और एनसेम्बल लर्निंग नाउ दिस इज नॉट ए डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग ओके सो इन आर फर्स्ट लेक्चर आई टोल्ड यू दैट इन आर फर्स्ट लेक्चर आई टोल्ड यू दैट वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग्स like supervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning and reinforcement learning so what we are discussing today is not a type of machine learning but rather it is uh, it is a type it is a technique or a method that we can implement uh, to increase the accuracy of, or accuracy of our predictions okay so so what is ensemble learning now ensemble learning or ensemble method is a technique in which we use multiple independent uh independently similar or different models to derive an output or make some predictions okay so in simple words what this means is rather than using one model to make a prediction what we can do is we can co combine multiple models uh, and we can uh, basically uh, you uh, combine their outputs to make one prediction okay so for example so for example let, let's say so so far we have seen that uh, so far we uh, what we have done is we have one particular type of problem Wh what we did was we uh, we we have some data and we have some uh, a particular type of problem to solve so in order to solve that particular problem what we did was did was we trained a particular type of machine learning model and then we use only that particular model to make the predictions so for example in in our in our logistic regression uh, video you know in our logistic regression video we made in order to make the predictions what we did was we trained only one particular uh, uh, model okay we trained only one logistic regression model so what ensemble method says is that rather than basically uh, tra training only one model and uh, uh, and using only one model to make your predictions what you can do is you we can in increase the number of models so we can let's say we can train three uh, three different logistic regression models and we can combine their outputs to create our uh, to basically uh, make our predictions so uh, here you can see so in general ensemble methods are basically used to increase the uh, accuracy uh, of of our predictions okay in the real world scenario when you will be working on a real life uh, project or something you won't be using uh, only one particular type of uh, uh, machine learning model what you will try uh, in most cases is you will try to create as many uh, uh, models as possible and then you will try to combine their outputs to make your predictions so as you can see that uh, previously without ensemble methods what we used to do is we have some data we have some data we use the, the this data to train a model and this and we use only this single uh, model to make our predictions now what ensemble methods uh, now what ensemble learning means is we have some data okay that now then using this same data we train multiple models and then in order to get the output we basically combine the output of each uh, model and get one bigger output okay uh, one final output so this is basically what uh, ensemble methods or ensemble technique means okay so in order to give you a better example what i will do is okay first let's discuss uh, different types of ensemble methods and then i will give you some examples okay mm. so so just remember that the general uh, idea of much, uh, ensemble learning is that you come you create multiple models to make your predictions okay now there are different types of ensemble methods okay now the four main types of ensemble methods are uh, max voting averaging bagging and boost boosting okay 
now the, the max voting and averaging are uh, very simple okay we have already done max uh, i've already explained max voting and averaging in our uh, knn uh, video okay so it's very simple the when we talk about ensemble methods in general we would we would mostly mean about either using bagging or either using boosting methods okay so again uh, there are different types of ensemble methods so there are mainly four types of ensemble methods max voting averaging bagging and boosting now max voting and averaging are very simple okay so mainly whenever we uh, talk about ensemble methods we we talk only about bagging methods and boosting methods all right now let me explain you uh, each type of ensemble method one by one now let's talk about max voting so basically for example in max voting uh, max voting is basically done for classification problems okay max voting is basically done for classification problems so whenever you have any classification problem uh, you uh, you basically use max voting we have also seen this in uh, knn algorithm okay so as you can see here uh, in knn algorithm what we did was uh, basically uh, let's say that you have an image okay and you want to identify uh, identify if the image is of a dog or a cat so what you do is you train diff multiple models okay and basically you tr you make uh, ma you make a prediction from each model so let's say we trained three three different models and two of those models predicted that this image is of dog while one model predicted that this image is of a cat now if you apply max voting what max voting says it that choose a class okay choose a class label which has the maximum number of votes so here we can see that we two models have predicted that this image is dog whereas only one model has uh, predicted that this image is a cat now there are two votes for dog and one vote for cat so according to max voting we we will we will basically assign the dog label to a uh, to a uh, image here so this is basically what we call as max voting so we we use uh, we use max uh, we basically uh, choose the class value which has the majority uh, voting so here two models have uh, outputted dog so we'll clear we'll assign we'll basically estimate that this image is basically of a cat dog okay now in case of now again you can see that if you have a image okay then what you can do is you just train multiple models and you just take the majority vote okay now this is possible only if you are trying to solve a classification problem okay remember max voting works only when you are trying to solve a classification problem now let's talk about averaging okay averaging is also very simple so averaging is basically done to solve regression problems okay whenever you are trying to solve a regression problem so for example if you are trying to predict a salary or if you are trying to predict someone's age or something like that you know when you are trying to solve a regression problem we use averaging so for example let's say we have some data and we want to uh, let's say we have some uh, x variables and we, we are trying to predict some y variable now what we can do is we can train multiple models here and each model basically gives one prediction so in the regression problem what we do is we simply take their average okay we simply just take their average and that average would be our uh, actual prediction now we did the same thing in knn okay in knn what we did was we uh, we basically we had a point and we found out k nearest neighbors for that particular point and it took an average of the, all those points to find the uh, to make the prediction okay so this is what we call as averaging now remember you use bag you use 
max voting for classification problems and you use uh, averaging for regression problems all right so now uh, the the two main types of ensemble methods that you should focus more on are boosting method and boosting method and the bagging method okay the bagging method is bagging is also called as bootstrap aggregating okay just remember this bagging or bagging is also called as bootstrap aggregating now bagging is also very simple it's not that hard so the idea in bagging method is that basically let's say you have a data set okay you have a data set now how will you now rather than using the same data to uh, using using the same data to train uh, multiple models what we do is we create subsets of this data okay and we train uh, each subset you uh, and we basically train a new model using that uh, using each subset so for example you can see here we have we have one big data uh, one big piece of data what we do is we divide this data set into three subsets and then we basically use each subset to train one particular model okay so it's very similar to uh, averaging or uh, max voting okay the only new thing is that rather than using the same data set to train multiple models we use this uh, we basically divide our data set into subsets okay so each subset basically is used to train a uh, new model okay and then again each model will basically create out output a, uh, a new prediction and at the end we either use averaging or use max voting depending upon the type of problem that we are trying to solve okay so this is what you call as bagging or bootstrapping very simple not not anything extraordinary here okay now boosting okay now boosting is a bit complicated but again it's it's again not that not hard not that hard so basically boosting boosting is an ensemble technique also one terminology that you should understand is that each each model okay each model is called as a weak learner let me write this here weak learner so each model each model uh, basically is called as weak learner so this one uh, so if you train let's say three models then you will have three weak learners basically okay so keep this in mind that each uh, each variable each basically model is called as a weak learner here now let's talk about boosting okay what is boosting and how uh, it actually uh, works now boosting is an ensemble technique that attempts to create a strong create a strong learner from a series of weak learner so now what happens here is this now uh, in most in other in tip, in a typical ensemble method what we do is we basically have a big data set and we create multiple subsets okay now again in in a typical uh, ensemble method what we do is we try to create multiple models okay we try to create multiple models but what happens is that uh, each model each model is basically very similar to another model okay so basically if you if we if we look at bagging so uh, in bagging what we do is we train uh, train a new model on each subset uh, on each sub using each subset of the bigger data set 
so now what is happening here is that uh, each model each model is kind of very similar to other model basically each model basically as we create multiple models uh, there is not a uh, basically the uh, the models basically do not improve the uh, improve in the performance okay so what we are what i am saying is now if we let's say for the sub, first subset of subset of data we created a uh, created a linear regression model okay and for the second subset of data we created another linear regression model now what now uh, both of them are kind of very similar okay now uh, we are not uh, basically trying to uh, create a uh, basically we are not improving the quality of our weak learners here okay now we are just creating the uh, creating uh, extra models but we are not uh, increasing the quality or the performance of these models so what uh, boosting does is basically as we create uh, uh, as we create new uh, models the ac the performance and the quality of each weak learner basically goes on increasing so for example firstly a model is built from the training data set okay so what we do is we have this is our training data set okay what, uh, we we basically create a model okay this robot is be robot basically represents our machine learning model okay so we have this training data set and we try to create a model uh, using this training data set now what happens is then this when we try to build the second model we don't just create another subset of our existing data set and directly create the model what we do is we also take into account the errors made by the first model okay so the then uh, firstly a model is built from the training data set then the second model is built which tries to correct the errors present uh, present in the first model okay so what happens is uh, when we create our second model we look at the errors of the first model and we somehow basically we try to uh, increase the quality or basically we try to increase the performance of the second model okay so as the number as we create uh, more and more uh, weak learners or more and more models of the quality or the performance of our model also increases because at, at any point at any given point each model is basically better than his previous model okay so this basically uh, drastically increases the performance of our prediction so another example would be uh, let's say this let's say we have three three models here okay now the first model will be now the second model will basically be more better than the first model and the third model will be again better than the second model so basically there is a linear uh, increase or a linear uh, increase in in our overall performance of a model as the number of uh, weak learners or the number of model increases okay so this is what boosting is okay now there are many uh, different types of boosting techniques uh, some of them are ada boost which is also called as adaptive boosting uh, another one is called as gradient boost and the third one is called as xg boost okay so these are the main types of uh, boosting methods or boosting techniques so yeah this was it I hope you understood uh, uh, all these things. In our next video, what we'll do is we'll try to implement each of this method. Okay, we'll try to implement bagging as well as we'll try to implement boosting. Okay.